Apology is often been said to make the familiar strange and the strange familiar. We really work on understanding the articulation of other societies and then we can understand the articulation of our own. There's uh, Herodotus, the Greek philosopher, was travelling around the known world 500 years before Christ and he was the true anthropologist at heart, even though the discipline was only invented in the 1800s. But, for instance, Herodotus went to um, Egypt and instead of just saying, oh, well, today's Egypt, you know, tomorrow I'll be in Syria or somewhere, he looked at the people and he noticed some people had no eyebrows. And instead of thinking, whatever, or even not noticing, he asked, why do some people have no eyebrows? And he found that when the family cat dies, everybody in the family had to shave off their eyebrows <laughs> in the sign of mourning. And so it's understanding these small things in life uh, that, that are at the soul of being an anthropologist. You would be people who are fascinated by um, human variety.